Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nuzlocke run. Welcome to chapter 16. We're moving along into the end game now, starting to finally get towards the end of this game. Probably almost 20 hours into it now in our actual real time. So, start of a new chapter? Well, it's time for us to get a new Digimon, as always. So, this chapter, we start with another Tentamon. I haven't had enough of this line this run at all. We've had quite a few of those. So, the first things first, is going to Odaiba to help take care of Examon. The dangers have come to Odaiba, torn it apart, and it's time for us to go and deal with it. I mean, he's just a tiny little, you know, giant dragon soldier that's the size of, you know, half a building. They have a skyscraper. I mean, come on, and what, what could possibly go wrong? I'm sure it will all be just fine. So, still doing a little bit of grinding, because this is a very good area to do a little bit of grinding. It was very quick for our Tentamon to become max level. Therefore, using the farm that is right near the Examon, we made him into Kabuterimon. Then came the fight. It's time for us to climb the tower, climb the building, and face Examon himself. I mean, look at him. He's small. He's not that intimidating. I'm sure we'll be just fine. Crusadermon's here. It's a party. And so it begins into one of the battles where, if you've played these games before, you're probably well aware. You can't win this one. So really all this is is just mostly being defensive. You can only do so much damage to him, your attacks do very little here. So for the most part it's just surviving X number of turns. So really just probably get your defense buffs up, you could guard for the most part. I'm not 100% sure, I do believe you have to do some damage to him. He's probably can't just completely guard here, but yeah. You can, you can play it very safe. If you get hurt at all, just heal up. And it'll just take you a little while. <laughs> He doesn't do any of his uh, special moves or anything that really could uh, threaten you in this fight either. It's just, take your time, and eventually it'll it'll be over. But, you know, nothing important happens here. Just Examon gets away, you got your flying Digimon running off after it. It's all very well coordinated here. And, or Galantmon. Mmm, nom 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 nom. Yep, um, <laughs> poor Gallimon is gone, Arata is going crazy. You know, nothing to see here. I'm sure it'll all just be fine. And we just let him walk off. Nothing to see here. Why would we want to chase him at all? No? Okay, good. I didn't think so. So after all that, the fiasco, it's time to go back and time to proceed with the next quest. This is a cute one, where you're helping this cute little girl try and get a blanket for the Metal Greymon that's blue, so he seems a little cold. Now the fun part is, I've never actually done this fully with the blanket, is you can very much barter how much the quilt uh, you spend on it. You can go as many times as you want, all the way down. He'll just keep going down until you can't go down anymore. So you can actually get this quite cheap, though, I mean, it's not really like it's going to, you know, break your bank to buy that 5,000 yen. And there's Blue Greymon. You go and turn it into him. Sorry, Blue Metal Greymon. And you turn it into him, and he's thankful, and you return the music box to the girl, and everybody's happy. The next side quest that we go ahead and do is the next lowest level one, is Growlmon. This is another very simple one that only really has a one battle that can even really be called the boss. So going into this random corner in Nakano is where you have to go in order to access this place. Once you're inside, you'll be able to go in, find Growlmon, talk to him, and was worried about his master, I believe she calls her, even though she's female, so... Oh well, I'm not gonna judge. Since 2021, you don't judge on these kinds of things. So then you have to go find Grauman in order to get his bone in order to stir the ramen. Which is just seems like we could have gotten something much easier for this. But he's another fight that's just kind of another random little boss fight. He's a little tough, but nothing that you can't handle. Just has enough health that it'll take you a moment to get through it. This is the point where I was training up quite a bit of my team again, so the team was decent at this point. It wasn't 
as strong as I would like it, just as it always ends in RPGs. And But it was good enough that without too much trouble, we took him down. We returned the bone to Graumon so that he could stir the ramen. And then once you have the ramen made, you go back into the Eden beginning area. And you'll be able to turn it into the lady who will gladly eat it. And you'll have completed that quest. Completed that quest. Quish case, you know, whichever you want to call it. <laughs> but, yep. So, that one's done. Now it's time to go... Oh, no. No, no, no. We gotta go fight another bunch of Leomon. Oh, no, no, no. That is really bad. <laughs> so, go over here to where the <clears throat> weird doll case was. It's right near there where the Beomon is. And you'll be able to go in. You'll be able to find Bancho Leomon and the Betamon. Now, I was very worried for a moment here coming into this in a Nuzlocke run. Do not worry. This Bancho Leomon is nothing like the one you fought before. I mean, he may still be a little tough. He's got all the same stats in general. But his flashy boss punch is, well, actually what flashy boss punch is supposed to be. It has no ability to one-shot you. As you can see, you're able to panic him, you're able to affect him with status conditions that most bosses are immune to, so... In general, he's not that tough. Just go ahead, make sure you keep your HP up high as usual, and take him down. Take down the Braggart, yeah! And he's pathetic for experience. <laughs> so, now that he's taken care of, next up on the docket is going to... Helping out Dr. Datamon. Now, Dr. Datamon is always an interesting time whenever you see him. Head over to the hospital and head on in. Most of the stuff for this case you'll find just lying around, though you eventually need to run into the random encounter of finding the Platinum Sukumon, who is just an encounter you'll find around in the dungeon. Once you find him, it's a simple case of beating him up. Just remember, Platinum Sukumon is just like he would be if you found him, if you had him. He is a very weak to magic attacks. He has no intelligence, but a very high defense. So it's easy to defeat him and gain the last component you need. Through doing that, Kabuterimon became max level, so we were able to digivolve him into Mega Kabuterimon, rounding out our vaccine team. After that, you randomly have to walk over here into Kowloon. Once again, the game really doesn't tell you anything about this unless you talk to Mirai. So, once you talk to, once you walk into there, you'll be told that you need to meet her up on Kowloon level five, which you can finally access because miraculously the guy that was in your way is not there. Moving up into the area, you'll be able to meet up with Yuko, and she's very upset. She wants revenge. She wants to go murder Crusadermon, which I mean. You can mostly not blame her much at this point. And, just to add to the mystery, Suido shows up, and you make an uneasy alliance in order to move on. Now this next area, uh, I very much went through and made sure to drop down every hole to make sure I got all of the loot, and make sure I also got a bunch of experience along the way. So on the way, we ground up a bit, and now it's time to fight Crusadermon! Oh, it's really Craniumon! Which, I had mostly forgotten that he just shows up because he is literally so random. This is the only time you won't see him like the entire game. He just shows up for this one fight. So he will not allow you to pass. He doesn't like humans. So just bring your data team. It's time to beat him up. Now, Craniumon is very much a tank Digimon. There's not a lot of damage that he does that will worry you. So, for the most part, you just need to keep your health up. The only reason you even need to really worry about your health that much at all during this fight is he has his special move that will do a lot of damage and unbalance him afterward, and that is your chance to strike. So for the most part, just keep yourself healthy and you'll be fine. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry I keep repeating myself, but that's really all it is. There's not that much difficulty in these fights, at least not on normal mode. In hard mode, these fights were pretty crazy, and a hard mode Nuzlocke run could indeed be very interesting. But it would be a lot more grinding as well, so it wouldn't be as interesting to watch the entire thing. So, there are pros and cons. So, as you can see, he's also like a lot of battles where he doesn't... There it is, Waltz End. Yep, you just need to make sure you keep your health up high enough that that won't kill anybody. And even Blue Spirit, who's exceedingly squishy as a Talmon, took that pretty well. 
So just make sure you keep your health up. And then once he's helpless and lowered all of his stats after the waltz end, just finish him off. After that, there's a little bit of plot involving talking to Kr and talking to Suedo about it. Granny Mom cannot understand how you want to fight back, but Suedo is ready to help you out because the whole reason you were here was to cut off the power supply that was being fed into Aximon. So once you have successfully taken him out of the picture, cut off the power supply, well, then you know what time it is. It's time for our rematch with Eximon, right? No, not quite. Because, as always, more side quests! Yay! Because, why not? They gave you good rewards, give a good experience. Time to go through all of them. Could be very interesting to try and plow through this game without doing any of those side ones. So, don't talk to the merchant here. Talk to the board instead. And you'll be able to start the next quest, which is... <sighs> yes, you get to play with the occult club again. These are very weird people. <laughs> the, the, they're harmless, but they are very, very strange. So, once you get them to agree to help you out, it's time to investigate a very strange occurrence in Nakano. Where you have to run around the entire complex and talk to all of them many times. They tell you all these stories about all these fantastic things that are supposedly coming up, but of course aren't really what you're here to find. So, run around the first floor, find them all, second floor, third floor, and then make your way up to the K Cafe for the final part of this quest. They hear the mysterious sounds. What could it possibly be? Wah! Oh my gosh, it's a scary old man! He's so scary! Look out! He's going to devour your soul. Or just be an old man that's very confused why kids are disturbing his nighttime walk. <laughs> and then once you're done there, you'll head down. You need to find Pete over here on the third floor in order to progress this quest even more. But what does this have to do with Pete? Well, any of you probably watching a Nuzlocke run of this probably know very well why this all involves Pete. So... Now that our Rise Greymon is getting high enough level, we decided to bring him down to Geo Greymon in order to start working on his ABI because he did not have enough. Blue Spirit finally was high enough level with a decent ABI, so it was time to finally get another Mega on the team. So Blue Spirit became Sukuyamon. And then it's back to the K Cafe again, and oh my gosh, weird things are happening! Yep more cyber earthquakes because those those are a thing now mm -hmm. everyone knows about the famous Digimon earthquakes you find the old man there again who swears that he can sense a Miko around here but there, there's no Mikos around here but there's just a lot of strange things going on with this old man and Pete's about to tear the place apart Wow he's really good he's a really strong in training Especially, actually, if you do fight him in uh, hard mode, he's like most enemies. He's really a pain in the butt to defeat. But yeah, please stop looking for me. I'm just, I'm Pete, I'm Miko, I'm Pete, I'm Miko. If you stop, con if you keep confusing me, I'll tear apart your world. So enter into the uh, vacuum tube computer again in the wall, and then you'll have to go around finding the five pieces that tell me Pete that it was really a cat that got trapped in the computer room and became a Digimon. Which is a very interesting concept, really. I haven't quite had anything like that, really, I don't think, in any of Digimon's past. But finally, the owner of the cat is reunited, and we get to lose Pete. Pete leaves us, but at least they're happy together. But we'll never be able to replace Pete in my heart. But hey, you completed a quest, so you get paid. So I guess, well, I guess Pete wasn't that important after all, was he? <laughs> so, once you leave, you get a mysterious call from who else but the mysterious, insane, Gallantmon eating Arata. And it tells you to come alone. Oh, I'm sure this isn't a trap in any way, shape, or form. Nothing bad could possibly happen from listening to him, could it? Nah, he's a good friend. But, time to upgrade more people. And once again, TT loves to be cute Digimon. So, aww, look at Breakdramon. Isn't he so cute? 
Aw, Mr. Bulldozer Machine Dragon. So cute. So, it's once again back to Odaiba, so we did a little bit of training here again on the way, seeing as, you know, I still had some champions around on the team. So, after a little bit of training there, we were able to grind up some levels. I mean, really, all, I, uh, all you have to worry about is your virus team here, because, once again, it's time to fight Eximon. So, you do have to worry about him, who's a data type. So, just bring along your virus types, which... Virus types are almost the easiest ones to always have good ones around. A lot of the virus types have really good natural attacks. So, for once, you actually team up with the crazy Arata Man, and it's time to take down Eximon the second time. Well, really the first time, because you really couldn't take him down the first time. He was just a little bit too tough. But now it's time to fight. And a fight it is. You can actually do some damage to him now, so it's not as daunting of a task. But he does have some very annoying abilities. He's one of the very first bosses that you will encounter in the game that has knockback. He has an attack that will knock back your entire party and swap them out. So be very careful when this happens, because if your party's speed is too slow, he'll be able to get an attack off on your team that is likely not at all as strong against him. That Pendragon's Glory does decent damage, so... There it is, Draconic Impact. So, once you get around that and swap your team back out, hopefully he doesn't just continue to chain it back to back to back on you. Because there are sometimes he will do that. But for the most part, as long as you don't get unlucky with a combo of his Pendragon Glory and that Dragon Demise, you should be just fine. And enjoy here as you get to actually see Arata's Victory animation, which is very rare. You have to kind of set that up for that to happen. I actually got quite lucky to see it happen, though it's not exactly the most exciting of ending animations. So Rada's all crying about how he's just not strong enough, needs to get stronger, but at least he doesn't try to eat Eximon. I don't think that would have exactly ended up all that well for any party involved. So now it's time for Yuko to let you know that she's tracked down Crusadermon. So once again, it's time for the hunt for revenge, because the last time Crediamon was there instead. So now it's time for us to go to Akihabara and track her down. Welcome to Chapter 17. And as you all are well aware, since we've done 17 of these chapters already, it's time for another new Digimon. Time for a Karamon, which we still have our Edgelord Inframon around, so we don't need that line too badly at the moment. But Chaz now was high enough level, it was finally time for him to go all the way up to Grand Kawagamon. We had our next Mega, fifth on the team, I believe. And moving up those lowly champions to make them a little more usable in the party, they finally decided that the Starmon should become a Gachimamemon, which is such an unusual Digimon. <laughs> And it's time to go find the digital shift again, because it's, well, very obvious to find. So you go talk to Yuko, and she joins you for this quest on revenge. <laughs> so, a little bit of grinding later to make sure our Digimon had a few levels. It's time to fight Crusadermon. Making sure we equip all of our good abilities in order to round out our Digimon. Some of your Digimon definitely end up with better moves than others. And it is revealed that Crusadermon is indeed the one who killed Yuko's father in the past. So it's time to take her down. And once again, this is not a full on fight. So it's not really all of that impressive. I'm assuming Chaz was in the chat, that's why I had to show off what he had become at that point. But she's not impressive because this isn't the real final fight with her yet again. So it's just a matter of beating down what little health she has. It shouldn't take you all that long, in all honesty. There's not a whole lot that she has to do. Um, as long as you beat her down fast enough, she shouldn't even use anything like her Fist of Athena or anything that's actually scary enough. You'd be able to take her down. At least this time you get experience for her, which is better than the first time you fought her. <laughs> she didn't give you anything that time. Memory ups, experience, it's all good. But, ho oh ho, it has been a deception! It is a trap that 
for some reason, only you fall for. Yuko's fine. And so, you're off wandering into the darkness. Always a good sign. What bad could possibly happen? And so, you're back into the flashback, where if you hadn't figured this out by this time in the story, you're probably pretty thick. But, uh, <laughs> you get a little more detail here. As we finally get to meet the young children who were in as part of the first beta. And find out that Yuko's fine. And that yes, the Digivice is in the goggles. And that's... Why is everybody else's Digivice? Don't know. Never tells you. And then we're on to chapter 18. Where Ami, your main character, is gone. So, game over, right? You, you messed up. Nothing you can do now. No, you actually get to control Nokia, which is interesting. They won't actually let you leave this area. It's very limited where you can go. So you log into the old area of Eden, which, wow, looks a lot like the original version. Hmm, how convenient. How could this possibly have happened? This isn't a plot convenience or anything to make things easier. No, I'm sure it couldn't possibly be. But hey, Muriel still let you in, so it's all good. She's not real picky, it seems. So, it was time for us to digivolve our Geo Greymon, so we kept him on the Rise Greymon line again. And it's a new chapter, so you know what that means. It's time for the next Digimon! It's a Gardramon! At least it's something we haven't had a whole bunch of this game. Like the Karamon and the Tentamon we just had. And thus begins the bunch of cutscenes explaining how the kids originally went into the digital world, the cute scenes of everybody meeting, getting to actually see that Nokia has indeed met the Agumon and Gabumon before, and that there is some truth to what Crusadermon says, the humans did unleash the terrible eater threat upon the digital world. Poor, or Yugo ends up getting eaten. He's very tasty, I'm apparently, just like all human data is to these eaters. And it's time to break out. It's time for you to break free and... Whoa. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the first time I played this, I had no idea this was coming. Even though there was always something weird about Kyoko. I probably should have seen more of it coming. It's a pretty darn cool cutscene, though. I, I quite enjoy it. So, Alphamon has joined the fray. It is time for you to figure out that you have a new powerful ally that, well, is just on the level of Omegamon, Omnimon, and she's ready to help. And thus, finally, we get to the real fight with Crusadermon, where everything is ready. I did not remember immediately that we would go back into this, so I had to switch my team back out to be ready to face her. Wasn't that I forgot she was a virus type, just I forgot how quickly we fought her. And now she has her complete arsenal. She will use all of her buffs. She will use everything. Well, in a moment. Actually, there, there, there's still a whole nother section to get through. <laughs> this is the battle that never ends. So now Kyoko sits aside so that you go and Gaiamon can steal the spotlight. All right, so now the real, real final battle begins, and it's, again, a bit tougher. She actually has her stats that, for the most part, the actual general damage isn't that scary, but she has many more hit points, and she now has full access to her full arsenal of attacks, which, for the most part, Spiral Masquerade, you don't have to worry about so much. But there is one attack, you must be aware. <gasps> uh, yeah, I remember this about her. She's got those... Uh, like, good thing she's almost down already. Kabutemon's dead, come on, Jimmy. Uh-oh. That's fine. That's right, one fist of Athena. Completely one shot Mega Kabuterimon. And so we had another dead Digimon. Another Royal Knight had taken out one of my Digimon. Actually, the first Royal Knight to take down one. Bunch of Leomons and actually a Royal Knight. <laughs> but 
With her defeated, it's time for her to spill the plans truly of what Leppermon's doing, trying to use the Paradise Lost plan to wipe out all of this pathetic world and all of us lowly humans and... Wait, I like being a human. I like this world. And therefore, it's time to go back, ask Kyoko all the questions you have. And that is the end of this chapter. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and we should have only one more video, and you'll see how the run ends. Thank you everyone for watching. Keep staying awesome. Bye now for now.